Now to the shocking case in Georgia. New video showing a man shot and killed after two armed men chased him down. His family says he was just out jogging. They're calling it a hate crime. Our Kate Snow has the story and a warning. The video in the story is graphic. In the video leaked on social media, 25-year-old African-American Ahmaud Arbery is seen running on a Sunday afternoon in February in southern Georgia. As he approaches a pickup truck ahead, Arbery swerves. Gregory McMichael and his son Travis, who are white, were both armed. Travis fires a shotgun and kills Arbery. In a police report that day, Gregory McMichael, a former police officer who worked for the local DA's office, said he saw someone he thought was the suspect in recent break-ins in the neighborhood, hauling ass down the street. He and his son attempted to intercept him, thinking he could be armed. McMichael also said Arbery began to violently attack Travis, and Travis fired just two shots. But three shots are heard on the video. An attorney for Arbery's family says he was unarmed, and there is no evidence to suggest Arbery was committing a crime. Arbery's mother says her son was just out for a jog. It really breaks my heart. He didn't know that he was in the last minutes of his life. We won't win. Mom! We won't win. Mom! She and supporters of the family have been demanding justice. Two prosecutors recused themselves from the case over potential conflicts of interest. One writing he thought the McMichaels' actions were perfectly legal and they were acting in self-defense in the skirmish over the gun. On Tuesday, the DA now responsible called for a grand jury to consider criminal charges. But because of coronavirus closures, that can't happen until June. And there's nothing preventing law enforcement from arresting these men other than their lack of desire to arrest these men. Why do you think they lack a desire? Because of the close law enforcement ties to this community, and they're protected by their whiteness. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations now on the case. NBC News has been unable to reach the McMichaels. This Friday would have been Arbery's 26th birthday. You just see him, he, he just laugh and just seeing his smile. I mean, that's gone forever. Kate Snow, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.